people, strangers I didn't even know, would come and tell me the same thing. They'd walk past me, but then they'd come back and they'd say, the Lord's coming back for you. And that stuck with me after about seven people telling me throughout a two month span. And I was, I was shook by it. Um, before, prior to giving my life to the Lord, I grew up in a household where we didn't go to church, uh, but you know, I grew up with a good lifestyle, chose some wrong things, started smoking Oxy at the age of 17. By the age of 18, I was a heroin addict, full-blown heroin addict, smoking about three grams a day on average, a gram to three grams. And I was just lost and bound. I would OD on my mom's couch. My mom would get calls from the jail. Your son's in jail again, different things. It got to the point to where by the time I was 21, I was a lost cause and I burned every bridge that I had. And I had to go from town to town because I was just a deadbeat. I was burning people. I, was, I would panhandle at a rest stop and verbatim people, strangers, I didn't even know would come and tell me the same thing. They'd walk past me, but then they'd come back and they'd say, the Lord's coming back for you. And that stuck with me after about seven people telling me throughout a two month span. And I was, I was shook by it. When you have more than one, it's not a coincidence. Verbatim saying word for word, God's got a call for your life and he's coming back for you. And that's when it really started. I was like, okay, what's going on? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But then after that, I would close my eyes and I would start to see a silhouette of Jesus' face. You know, and mind you, I was a heroin addict, so I didn't know if it was because I was coming down. But I'm in L.A. at the homeless camp, you know, just out there sleeping in the dirt. And it took about two weeks of that. And then I finally burned a bridge out there. So I had to, long story short, I ended up making my way back here to sleep in my sister's, you know, car or whatever she would let me do. And, um, you know, one thing led to another. Doors got all closed and I was l sleeping behind a liquor store. But the cab driver who gave me a ride to the liquor store, he told me, he said, it's crazy. Cause he goes, you have to, he goes, God's trying to get your attention because you got to give your life to the Lord. He, he, and he said, within your heart, he said, ask God to come into your life if he's real. So I said, God, I was broken. I was crying because I had nothing. And I go, God, if you're real, come into my life. So from there, I just, I, I moseyed on over, you know, slept behind the liquor store, woke up the next morning. And then next thing you know, it was about afternoon time. And somebody comes up and says, do you want change? And I said, yes. And then about two hours later, the director, I didn't know at the time, but come to find out it's the director of Victor Outreach Rancho Cordova's men's home. And he was an intimidating man, you know, also an inner city, you know, man of God who's been saved by the Lord, ex-convict, you know, and uh, he's gone on to be with the Lord now, but uh, he just ended up going into the recovery home. And from that day on, my life's never been the same. That was 2015. Now, ever since then, uh, I graduated the re recovery home. Um, I ended up going to Bible college. Uh, I helped a uh, church plant uh, in Texas for uh, about a year. But not only that, now I'm the business owner. I'm married with going on four kids and we're blessed beyond measure. Um, or when I lost my life and I picked up the life that God had for me, that was when I truly started to experience the fulfillment that I was always looking for in heroin and alcohol. And I just, I was complete. I had a peace upon me. Even in my worst day, I always knew that I could call upon the Lord and I would have peace because even in my chaos, even being saved, anytime I humbled myself in prayer and reading my word, I would find a peace and a solution to the turmoil that I may have been going through. So, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. I give all glory and honor to God because I was a heroin addict that's OD'd and died and I should have been dead, you know, plenty of times, but God had grace upon my life because he had a greater calling for my life. And I'm grateful to the Lord and I'm indebted to him because I'm blood bought. You know, he, I gave my life to the Lord, so I'm sold out. I don't know anything else.